Hi, this is John McDermott, and today we'll look at two different ways to display messages to users in text-based Bash scripts. We used read in a different video. Now, the first and simplest way is to use echo. Echo, hello world. Print out, hello world. Echo minus N doesn't put a new line at the end. So notice now it jams up the text and the prompt. In a script, we might use this to display some words and then something else and then some more words. <clears throat> With minus E, <clears throat> we can put new lines in the middle of our string. We can also use multi line strings by quoting them. That preserves the new lines within the string. Now, let's look at printf. Printf is a lot like C's printf, but there are no parens around the arguments, and there's no comma between the format string and the data item to print. Let's do a simple one. and just print a number. Alright, oh look, I didn't specify the new line. With printf, I have to put in the new line explicitly, unlike echo where it takes it out with an argument. Now it does what we expect. So we need to remember that just like in C, we have to specify the new lines. They are not the default as they are in Echo. Now, let's use a different format character. Instead of D, we'll use X. And you'll notice now it prints out 15 in hex, which is the character F. We can also print real numbers. Again, no new line, but notice that it formatted it as I asked it to. To do it right, we'll put in the new line. Put it in the right place, how about? I can also do normal commands as part of the argument to printf to make things look good. For example, Normally, when I want to find the number of lines in the password file, I would do wc minus l and send it. 31 lines in the password file. Boring, but someone wouldn't know that 31 in the output of a script unless we told them. So now we'll do it a little more cleanly. That's the message. Now I need the value. That command inside the dollars per end and close per end is executed, and its output then is put in the string where the percent %d is. That's much easier to read, isn't it? Most of the percent conversions from printf work as well here. 
So you can do almost anything here that you did in printf. Well, I hope this brief introduction to presenting messages to users has helped you to write better shell scripts. Thank you.